All right. Hey, VC. I'm Jamie. Uh, welcome back and happy Boxing Day. Yes, the day after Christmas Day. It's Boxing Day. And that's something that's celebrated uh, certainly in the UK, also in Canada and uh, in Australia, I believe as well. It's the day after Christmas, Boxing Day. No one's really sure where the origin of Boxing Day came from, the day after Christmas. Now, traditionally, it is a day off for servants when they received a Christmas box from their master. The servants would also go home on Boxing Day to give Christmas boxes to their families. That's one idea of where Boxing Day came from. Uh, certainly, possibly the idea of boxing things up after uh, Christmas Day, uh, putting them away. Or certainly the idea of a Christmas box uh, filled with money that uh, you would bring to church, that sort of thing. No one knows exactly sure where Boxing Day came from. But we celebrate it. Boxing Day in Canada, and uh, certainly uh, in this country, uh, Boxing Day sales are absolutely huge. So it's, everything's kind of discounted day after Christmas. Uh, Black Friday is uh, certainly popular, particularly in the United States. But in this country, Boxing Day is huge, huge for sales, uh, certainly for shopping today. And uh, also Boxing Day is the first day uh, for the kickoff of the World Junior Hockey Championship. So that's always a good thing, too. So go Canada. So I figured on this Boxing Day, we'd have an unboxing for you. Uh, uh, this time I did save one. It is uh, Prince's 1999, uh, the box set which has come out. Unfortunately, uh, when I started this video, I had a problem and it shut off right away. So I did take the shrink off. I haven't looked inside, but uh, the shrink is, is off. It's a five CD and DVD set. And this is the Super Deluxe Edition 5 CD plus DVD. CD1 is 1999 remastered for the very first time. CD2 is remastered 7 inch edits, 12 inch mixes, promo versions, CDs 3 and 4, 24 tracks from The Vault, 23 previously unreleased. CD5 live in Detroit, November 30th, 1982, previously unreleased. And the DVD uh, live in Houston, December 29th, 1982, previously unreleased. Also includes a 48-page booklet featuring new liner notes and uh, vault notes as well. Okay, so the it's a semi-unboxing. The shrink's already off here, but uh, let's take a look inside. And uh, so we have that, and it's, this is just a slipcase off the back, uh, slip paper, so we'll take a look at that. But... Uh, Fun packaging with this overall. And this on the back. All the lyrics that are included. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite quite shiny. Uh, nothing on the top or the bottom. But uh, and then we have the, the uh, track listing. I'll see if I can zoom in so you can get a, an indication of what tracks are listed on it other than the album. But lots of, lots of material. Looks good overall. Okay, so hopefully uh, that helps you out. Okay, so let's uh, take a look inside. Again, it's nice fun packaging and uh, it's just a slip case and this it slips out quite nicely. <laughs> okay, so we have, uh, as we've shown you that, and then we have it's just 1999 and prints nice and shiny the whole way through. Okay, and uh, very nice to see that uh, it's all uh, cardboard sleeves with spine, uh, with the booklet. Looks like nice packaging overall. Let's take these out and take a look. Okay, so we've got, looks like the booklet right off the top. We'll take a look at that later. And then we have the selections of uh, CDs and DVD. Quite nice. And uh, nice cardboard uh, sleeves, as I say, with spine, uh, which is quite nice. And... Uh, Nice gatefold here, and uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, no inner sleeves, but here we have the first one. So we got that, and that, let's see with the spine, which is quite nice, always nice to see. Uh, prints, these are the promo mixes and B-sides. So we've got that, and that, I don't know if you can see all that. And then. Very nice. Some. Okay, there we go. And then uh, now we have Vault Tracks Disc 1. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the uh, CD. I don't think of the other one. Sorry about that. And it looks like it's continuing with the same sort of labels on all of them. So as we mentioned, this is Tracks Vault Tracks number 1. And then forward inside and continuing with the eye looking at you 
Okay, there's that. And then we have track Volt Tracks number two. And that inside. And then I got a feeling it's going to be another eye looking at us. There we go. Okay. And then we have Prince 1999 Live in Detroit, 1982. Okay, and then how uh, nice. And nice to see that these are all uh, gatefold, which they didn't have to be. Again, it's just nice attention to detail overall. Inner sleeves would be nice, but small quibble. And then the uh, Live in Houston uh, 1999 prints. Whoops. So this is the DVD. And the front there. And here we go. Okay, and. Did they do it? Something different? Yes, they did something different for the DVD. There you go. Oops. Okay, there you have it. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, booklet. Uh, standard uh, CD size booklet, although it looks nice and thick. So let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look inside. The Sky Was All Purple by David Frick. There you go. And uh, again, incredible album. What can you say? And he certainly had a great band uh, with him as well. And then nice to see the uh, original lyric sh uh, sheets here. Very cool. Very nice. Oops. Wow, this has all been kept pretty amazing. Especially when you think lyric sheets. My gosh, you know, when you're scribbling them out on something that soon get discarded or forgotten about. But... Uh, Honestly, kept a lot of stuff. There you go. And uh, Prince will always live within us. Yeah, it looks like a nice booklet. Lots of uh, lots to read. Okay, the music, nineteen ninety nine, and pictures of the real surreals, and then we get start to get into well, I guess yeah, more of the credits and whatnot, uh, write ups on the songs. Uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a nice booklet overall. Okay, there you go. And there you go. And that's the booklet for Prince 1999. That's, yeah, pretty much going to do it. So there you have that. I found it interesting that for Prince 1999, you know, this is a nice, uh, certainly for the CD. Uh, I don't know what the vinyl's like uh, in terms of the packaging and whatnot, but just generally a nice uh, nice uh, CD packaging overall for this. What fascinated me is when they released Purple Rain, uh, again, lots of material, but then they decided to release Purple Rain. I think this was pretty much the uh, deluxe edition. Now, this is three CDs plus DVD, but I would think with such a monumental album that they would have released it at least with something uh, like this, if not a, a certainly a, a bigger sort of deluxe package. But still, overall, this is very good. I mean, they give you lots of material, you know, three CDs, the uh, disc, of course, the original album, CD2 from the vault, previously unreleased, CD3, uh, single edits and B-sides, and then the DVD is a, a live performance and but oh, like overall it's nice and you know it's certainly enough of the the glossiness of you know the packaging you know and it's very nice overall i just would have thought for purple rain like of all um all the releases that they would have gone with a, sort of a slightly bigger packaging style but there you go it's prince it's 1999 end of a decade <laughs> with 2019. So again, thanks so much for stopping by and happy Boxing Day on this, the day after Christmas. And uh, we'll chat again soon. Take care and bye-bye.